What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build, a place where we most definitely ordered the code red. I haven't burned anything in so long. I'm super stoked to burn something today. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. But we have prep to do. All right guys. Today's video is kind of a culmination of a bunch of different suggestions and questions I've been getting. Today we're going to pit stain versus dye versus dye. We are also going to address the question, should I burn my wood before or after I dye? I've gotten this question quite a few times. I never really thought that the dye penetrated that deep, but apparently there is some thought that it does penetrate deep enough to where when you burn it, it will still it will still remain. And then I have a bonus top secret project that may or may not work. Honestly, if it did work, it's probably the thumbnail of this video, so you probably already know what it is. If it's not in the thumbnail, it didn't work. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up our dyes and stains. Then we're gonna set those aside and we're gonna prep the wood. Cool? Cool. When do I get to burn something? So to keep things consistent, I went with red for the dyes and stains. For the unicorn spit, I went with molly red pepper. For the writ dye, I went with scarlet. And for the keto wood dye, I went with crimson, which is the only red uh, liquid they make. So if you're going on packaging alone, unicorn spit wins hands down. But we're not, so we won't. <laughs> I'll link to all of these in the description down below if you want to check them out. So we're mixing these up ahead of time because the key to dye needs some time to sit and do its thing. I think they said open up. I, the components got to do whatever they do in the lacquer thinners. So per the instructions, we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of the liquid dye and three ounces of lacquer thinner. So I already made a rookie mistake. I was handling the dye without, uh, without gloves on. So, so now I'm gonna be freaking myself out all day with this going on. So just remember, before you, uh, before you get ready to work this stuff, glove up. Okay, next we're gonna be mixing up the unicorn spit where you're gonna mix this half spit, half water. And next we have the writ dye. The Rit dye by far had the most variation in how to mix it up from different people. So what we're gonna start with is half lacquer thinner, half Rit dye, and go from there. P.S. I have no confidence in that mixture of Rit dye right now. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, why am I doing two different kinds of dyes? Uh, because the Rit dye is relatively inexpensive. It was suggested to me that you could get the same results from a cheaper type of dye. I don't know, I really like the Keto Wood dye. So it would, it'll have to be a pretty excellent result to change my opinion on that one. Right. Next, we're gonna prep the wood. Basically, I'm gonna take these two by fours, I'm gonna cut them into probably 12 inch sections, maybe 10 inch, I haven't decided yet. I guess it depends on what they measure out to. I'm going to burn half of them. I'm gonna set the other half aside. Once I have burnt those first ones, because Gotta burn something, man. Gotta burn something. Uh, once I have burnt the first half, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna sand the second half. Why am I sanding the second half, you ask? I'm sanding it because it's my understanding that the wood will take the dye better if it is sanded first. So we'll sand those boards down, then we will dye them, we will let that dye sit, and then we'll come back and light them on fire. Okay, now what we have here is two incredibly smooth two by fours. Uh, I went ahead and sanded them both up to 150. Uh, the key to die recommends not sanding past 180. I don't have any 180, so the next thing I have is 220 and it's apparently too high. Uh, so, the 
these are so smooth. I don't think I've ever sanded a, a two by four this smooth. Uh, but I wanted to give it its best chance to die. So, not like, ugh, but like, Okay, so that dies had about 30 minutes to set in. The thought is that when you burn the wood, you make it less able to take a dye. So if you dye it first and it penetrates deep enough, you'll actually get a richer color. So it does look like it has kind of, it looks like it's absorbed in like a decent amount on both of them. Probably a little bit more on the, on the Kita. Uh, but so that that does bode well for for our experiment here So I think these are dry enough that I can torch them now Hopefully the lacquer thinner is pretty much all evaporated by now um, Or we could have a nice little fireball going on here now if that happens I do have my fire extinguisher and my water bottle and stuff like that. So just stay safe kid And the first of many questions has been answered. And the answer to that question is, it's a yoga swing. <laughs> Kidding, I just scraped the two boards that I dyed before I burnt them, and the result is in. Wah, wah. The reason you don't dye wood before you burn it is because when you burn it, you burn the layers of wood that were dyed off. Now I guess theoretically you could like have a tub of dye and put this in there and it could get it so saturated but that is a pain in my ass and I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. And in the immortal words of Sven, the foreign exchange student, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Okay so next, next kids what do we do? What do we do? We glove up! Glove up, I said. This happens. So I came out to the shop the next day and the pieces that I finished with the Rit dye have this weird look to them. Do you see that? It's definitely like this stuff right here. It's definitely more prevalent on this one. So I originally thought it was the reaction between the unicorn spit and the dye, but if you look, it's soft. If you look at this one, this one has it too, just not as bad. Yeah. Oh, hey, what? It's, it's coffee. What is that? All right, guys, it's time for the results. And let me tell you, the results were a little weird. Let's start off with the key to die. Here we go. Kind of as expected, we've seen this before. Um, looks just really dark and rich. Uh, that's it without a without a finish on it. So it gets a little darker with the finish on it, but just as that real deep, rich color. And then next up we have the unicorn spit, which looks really good too. It, it's kind of hard to explain, and I don't know how well you can see it. Maybe I'll see it a little bit better here. Um, this is without finish, this is with finish. Actually the finish, the finish cleaned it up a little bit and made it little, look a little better. When it originally went on, it just really looked more like a pigmented stain, which is basically what it is, right? So, I mean, that's exactly what you got. But originally, I was really unhappy with the way it kind of turned out because I, it just kind of covered up the grain. If you look real close, you can see that it kind of did cover up some of the details, but it does overall look really nice. Coffee break. <sighs> Good coffee. All right, next up is our Rit dye. Now I apologize because the 
the piece of wood that I used for this is just a really tight green, so it's gonna make it look darker because you've got more burnt ridges, more high, high end ridges. It may not look it, but it actually in person looks really good. Here's what it looks like without the stain on it. Not too bad. All right, so next we get to the experiments. Right after this coffee break. Ah, mm hmm. Folgers and shit. So this is unicorn. This is unicorn spit that I that I came back with a sander, sanded down a little bit, and then I used some yellow writ dye. And I don't know if the writ dye had a weird reaction with unicorn spit or if it was just the writ dye itself, because the other board did this just a little bit. But like, look at the back of this. These little dots, like they're all over it. It, it putting finish on it kind of I, I, I put finish on it and I came in and I got it I, I hit it with a kind of a Brillo pad to kind of bring that down a little bit but honestly if this thing catches the right light it's still in there and it's just the weirdest thing because it looks like it only did it on the writ dye boards and then last is probably my favorite one this is unicorn spit I came in and hit it with a sander after I put the unicorn spit on and then I came back with an orange pigmented stain and just like ran that over, let it sit for just a minute and just wiped it off. So you get these little nuances of orange in there. All that being said, the key to dye to me is still the winner. I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it's like it wants to be in the wood. The writ dye, the writ dye, you have to work it into the crevices. It just, it doesn't want to sit on there. Like I think you might even have a better luck if you soaked it in writ dye, I don't know. But just like a wipe on application of writ dye, like you had to work at it. It took quite a while to do that. The key to dye, I mean it just goes in, it's just, it feels like it's part of the wood. It brings up the detail in the wood, it looks fantastic. Now, don't get me wrong, the unicorn spit looks really good. It absolutely does. So I'm not discounting unicorn spit. It still has that pigmented stain look and feel to it. Um, it's just, it, 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 there's a little bit of detail that's lost. And like I said, especially when it's, especially before a, before you put finish on it, see how it just looks, it almost looks like that's painted on there and it's just paint wiped off, which it kind of is, right? Um, it does look amazing, but to me, this, versus this, I mean, even texture-wise, even feeling it, I can still feel the wood grain, even though these both have three coats of lacquer on them, where this one is just, I mean, you can probably see the difference in shininess on those. Well, I guess they're both pretty shiny. Between the Kita wood dye and the Rit dye, I mean, I guess if you really wanna save, save a couple of bucks, Go with the writ dye, but you're gonna you're gonna pay for that and the amount of effort that you you put in to actually apply that to the piece of wood. Let's say when you're looking at price points, okay, writ dye is obviously the cheapest of the three. Okay, so there's 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 no discounting it there. Ha 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 ha! That's funny, Nick. It's discounting because it's cheaper. <laughs> Uh, but I would say bang for your buck in ease of use. So let's call those like one category. Bang for your buck in ease of use. I'm still going with the the liquid key to dye because they use like what a quarter or a half teaspoon of this and mix it up with some lacquer thinner. Whereas when I use the the unicorn spit, I mix that 50/50. I want to say that these are about the same price. So yeah, this one is bigger, but I think you'll get more uses out of this one. Now, there are a ton of other projects that people use unicorn spit with, which are probably more fitting for that. And I'll try to link a couple of those below because uh, they do some really cool stuff with this. Unicorn spit and water and mixing colors does these really crazy things. And after some of the videos I watch, I probably will be ordering a couple more of these or if unicorn spit wants to send me a couple out so I can demo them, I would love to. Um, because, I, because the mixture of, of colors is, that's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to get this this is a first draft I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna figure this out like my brain biscuits are turning okay guys I will link to all the products I used uh, in the description if you want to check anything out um, well the red dye I'm pretty sure you can just pick up at like Michael's guys I'd like to take a minute to thank my patreon supporters every little bit helps and I'd like to welcome to the fray Timothy McKenna Thank you, Timothy. Uh, you will not be disappointed. 
And if you are, I don't wanna hear about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Welcome. Other than that, guys, thanks for coming along for the ride. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being part of this experiment. I don't wanna lick that. All right, guys, if you like this video and you like the experiments, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you haven't, like this video. If you didn't like this video, hit the like button anyway. What the hell? And if you haven't subscribed by now, I don't know what to tell you, but subscribe, man, subscribe. A chance, come join us on Discord. I'll link that down below too. Uh, we're, we're building some stuff, we're getting there. It'll, it'll be a thing eventually, once I understand it, because I'm old, I'm old. So, oh. All right, guys. Until next time, thanks for playing. And I got to get to work on this coffee. <laughs>